So colors, uh, I see our artist friend Raj is smiling. <laughs> so uh, basically, if you go back, see color is a phenomena as it meets the eye. But if you go back at the bottom of things, you can resolve this entire world into vibrations, energies, ultimately. So each color is a kind of mode of vibration, a kind of energy. Ultimately, all is one, but it takes a certain form in the manifestation. And each of these vibrations and energy affects, uh, um, of course, human being, because color sensitivity is not there so much in the animals. Some animals, of course, but generally it's not there. They have another way of picking up vibrations. So, for example, generally, if you see a red color, now I know people who cannot stand red color. They find it very strong, intense. And they uh, almost, some people faint. A problem that we used to encounter in medical colleges that, you know, when people used to cut open, first time when they saw blood, I know people who fainted. And uh, because that red color is a very sharp color. In psychology, we also use it to see the sensitivity. On the other hand, if you see just a shade, another shade, you go to pink. A very soothing color. So now why it is more soothing and why it is uh, more intense? Now, it could be that over a period of time, it has been a social conditioning. It's possible because pink is also associated with girls, babies. And in, you, in normal conversation also we use pink always with nice things. Gulabi jada, you know, gulabi mausam. All huh, gulab. So, you know, pink color is associated with uh, over a period of time in the human consciousness with a very nice feeling. So, when you see pink color, you know, they, there is a test. If you uh, know, it's a test of uh, brain ability where you have color as well as the name of the color written. And what you have to pick up is not the uh, name as it is spelt, but the actual color. For instance, in black color, you have written blue. So, you have to say black. But it is written in black color, blue. So, a, the brain ability test is that you say what color is there. So, people end up suddenly saying blue because, you know, it's written blue. So, similarly, over a long period of time, there is an association which has been formed. For instance, green. So, green immediately reminds you of forest. Blue. Blue reminds us of the sky and the sea. So, these colors, brown, earth, or if you go to, uh, what shall I say, we have white, purity, black, invariably something is hidden. So, when something is hidden, it's frightening, it's not very, uh, because you don't know what is hidden. Of course, God may be hidden inside it. <laughs> so, but something is hidden. Yellow. So yellow is again a very strange color. Yellow is something which you can see both ways. Generally, it's a softer color. But at the same time, in our mind, also dirty. We also use the word yellow, yellow, dirty fellow. But so you see, yellow is a very strange color. It falls on strange side of the spectrum. A muddy water could be yellow. But yellow is also the rays of the sun. Though orange is typically the sun. So you see, there is an association in our minds uh, with certain colors. And this association is largely universal. Um, in our um, literature, spiritual literature, we also have certain deities which are associated with colors. So that adds to the charm, especially blue and you know certain color, dark is Kali, you know. So, we have these uh, Shama. So, these colors we associate with in the human mind with certain kinds of energies. Now, this one part. So, they have an impact. Now, do the colors in themselves have their own effect? My own impression is yes, they do have. And they do have because um, even, you know, uh, one is that because in the universe everything is symbolic. So, if you see the spectrum of the way the colors are arranged. So, you will see that they start from one end of the spectrum and they rise. So, you, if you see the rainbow. So, they also indicate the layers of consciousness. Of the mind, for example, is bluish. Just like in the sky, you see the bluish color. Uh, then, mind as it 
it also has a yellow color you will see in the mind if you come to the vital you will see green color if you come to earth you will see red and brown so it's a very earth color so now these elements if you take the panch tatva so each of these colors activates a certain kind of element so that element whether we need it or not whether it's excessive in our body or not so it will have an impact even on the human body so because it had at one point of time developed into a big science even as a child i have grown up into a household where my father had some bottles he was not a doctor but all this everybody knew at that point of time because there were books like that because thankfully we didn't have allopathic doctors too many so we didn't expand on allopathic medicines and we survived most of us did did survive and those who survived were robust health <laughs> so anyways so uh, there was a book which i have read as a, as a child where it was uh, the impact of water in different bottles colored bottles so we had it was in hindi neeli botal ka rahas hari botal so he had uh, three four bottles uh, different shades of blue different shades of green different shades of even reddish color and after putting the same water you would keep it in the sun so apparently as the sun rays gets filtered i am not vouch saving please don't use all this and you know somebody may quote me and say look my diabetes has increased after using <laughs> i don't i am just saying that that there is a science now people can explore it study it and maybe there are people who still use it so we should not discredit it that's all i am saying that the sun rays passing filtered through the layer and that particular frequency goes into the water so that means if you look at the sun being white containing all the frequencies so there some frequency which gets filtered into the water and water is a very excellent medium it it is something which absorbs almost anything and everything you put any color anything you put sweet salt everything it absorbs water that's why water is sometimes either it's known as life or it's used for consciousness even for you know brahman different because water is like brahman itself neutral but it will adopt whatever you put into it whatever color you put into water water accepts it so by putting these frequencies into the water and they are not less real simply because they are not objective the way we under it is objective but we can't measure vibrations and energies and frequencies so uh, my own personal feeling is logically it should have an effect but uh, there is no proper research now and i don't know whether people practice it or not but they used to be a whole uh, surya chikitsa siddhant surya siddhant there is a whole book on that where you use the sun rays and sun rays is the source of all energy and have certain colors and they use they are used for therapy and this much i know that there have been studies that in a hospital room certain colors impact um the uh, people around patient like in a ot you wear a green color the soothing color you see imagine going in the ot with a red color <laughs> he will feel it's not a doctor but a bull which is coming black color <laughs> yamraj coming <laughs> so when you wear a lab coat which is white i don't know why lawyers wear black coat i have no clue but i mean <laughs> high time it change but white color of course black as a neutrality that we know whatever it be but uh, white color is a very soothing color when a doctor wears a lab coat which is in white so um, curtains and especially if there is a harmonious blend of colors it creates a sense of harmony so colors that are jarring it's so true at least at a personal level i'm sure we all have observed that when we go into a room of course you can get over as a yogi you are supposed to get over all this but the instant um, impact the very loud colors that's how we say so when you enter into a house of loud color it, it not only speaks of the person and the personality but it also has an impact upon us the colors which distract you completely so there are softer shades gentler shades which uh, only uh, they are in the background it's like the background of a music if the background music becomes very strong then it muffles the main score so colors i i personally feel should be like that uh, you highlight what you want to highlight and the background should be of softer gentler hue savitri is full of these hues of color and scents and smells should be there is marvelously so again you see the seasons spring is a riot of colors 
I mean, all kinds of colors. But one of the colors that spontaneously spring, you just love. You see the green and you see the blue. And this blue reminds you of Krishna. Your springtime is Krishna. You go to summer, the flowers and this thing have different shades altogether. Rainy season. And finally in autumn, where everything becomes white, colored in that. So, um, uh, these colors, uh, I mean, it's a whole world to explore. I'm just very roughly touching upon the subject. It's a very fascinating subject.